Isn't it wonderful when the covert narc gets discovered and they're no longer covert because they're no longer fooling people? And they're like, oh, wow, you were right. What? I am being mauled, mauled by a fat tiger. Stop it, don't do it. Maybe move. So uh, my mother's aide, who at first thought maybe I was, I don't know if she actually thought it, but it seemed that she was implying that I was being a little neglectful of my mother. <clears throat> well, a couple months in now, she's like, I pray for you. <laughs> yeah, uh, Narc Mom was in rare form today. Oh, and it was serious because her lies are going to get her hurt insisting that she needs to take high blood pressure meds that were prescribed to her a long time ago. She does not have high blood pressure. And the past three blood pressure readings were very low. Not dangerously low, like 911 low, but, whoops, well, there goes my fabulous necklace. See if I could sit like this, <laughs> uh, but low. And she said, no, the doctor was here today, and she said to keep taking them. First of all, it's a nurse practitioner, and I doubt that she told her to keep taking it because I don't think she knows what her blood pressure is. She came for different issues, wound care, I believe. Um, I can no longer trust my mother to relay information to her aides. I now have to go do that. And I resent having to do that because if she was just a normal person. She would just convey the facts. I could easily just text the aides, tell them to do this, tell them to do that. And she wouldn't be constantly undermining everything she doesn't feel like doing. Things that might be my idea, for instance. Like throwing away the heater that was so hot I couldn't even touch it. It's from the 70s. I've had this for years. I know. And it's not safe. And when I tried to pull the plug out of the wall, I burned my hand. So what now? I have to get an electrician to look in the wall to make sure the wires are okay? God help us. She has edema in her legs because she refuses to elevate them. I told her aides, you have to try to get them up on the sofa. But she fights them and cusses them out and is mean. So people get frustrated. They'll do whatever they have to do, you know, get her to the bathroom, clean her up, if she even lets them do that. She's really kind of bullying these aides. So now I have to be a presence over there a little more often, which I don't want to be. But for their sake, for her sake, I have to do this. I'm not a happy camper. Anyway, so this one aide who I thought maybe thought I was a neglectful daughter. Oh, she totally, saw, she's like, hon, if you ever need to vent. I wanted to tell her, yeah, watch my YouTube. But I talked about her in that other video. I don't want her to see it. I didn't mention her name, of course, but, you know. I thought she was going to be one of the flying monkeys believing my mother's lies about me. Oh, don't bother my daughter. No, you better start bothering me. Because things are happening over there. But what I want to talk about is the validation. Oh, so now you see. Now you see. And she's like, I'm just trying to make her living space more livable. Why do you need this particular stack of things that she no longer even wears? And I heard that I was listening to this conversation while I was doing some other thing there today. She's like, Ada, can't we just move them to this drawer or that shelf or that just to get so we have working space over here, you know, to be considerate to the aides who, who do the toileting and the cleaning and the butt wiping and the wound care. She was just asking, could we just move this pile? Because... You haven't touched this. I've been here for months now, and you have not touched any of the items of clothing in this pile. Those are mine. That was my mother's answer. Those are mine. Yeah, I know they're yours. This whole house is yours, so we could just move them, can't we? 
No, leave them. I need them for when blah, blah, blah happens. Well, the blah, blah, blah only happens once every three months. Like when I have a game night where I have the family over. Always uh, trying to continually entertain and be a good daughter. And then things that this particular aide does need. She's like, why did your mother move the, the th whatever it was, all the way into the other room? And why did the other aide do that? I'm like, because she's a bully. And she bosses people around. And if she told, you know, one of the more mild-mannered aides, move this over there, put it out. She's like, why would she move it all the way to the other end of the dining room? I'm like, because she needs to have control. And this is her little world now, and this is what she controls. It doesn't matter how she hurts people, inconveniences people, or even hurts herself. So today I removed the two uh, dangerous uh, heaters. They're gone. Uh, when there was a kerfluffle of people around, I managed to get a hold of her blood pressure medication, which she will no longer have. I followed her nurse's advice and got her pineapple and apple juice and things that she needed to help with a certain digestive issue rather than constantly popping whatever pill she thinks is going to fix whatever she's going through. I did that. All the while, that one age, she's like, oh, Lisa, I don't know how you do this. I don't know how you do this. I'm like, I don't. This is brutal on me. And you do realize that this is not because she's an old lady or she has dementia. She does not have dementia. She, she doesn't. She doesn't present with any of the symptoms. <clears throat> or that she's difficult because she's old. No, she's always been like this. Always. She's like, I can't imagine what you went through all your life. I'm like, no, I probably can't. I'm going to give her an autographed copy of my book. Which I don't like to do. I don't want to sour them against my mother. <clears throat> they have to take care of her. And it's bad enough she's mean to them. Insulting, bossy, uncooperative. Spiteful. Other things are bathroom issues, and I, I really don't want to say them on video, but you can imagine. So refusing to let her aide bring her to the bathroom, which is specifically why the aide is there. And then, you know, almost deliberately having an accident. Or uh, refusing to eat because it was the aide's idea to give her whatever it was, a hard-boiled egg or something rather than just letting her eat, you know, what she decided for the moment. Reese's peanut butter cups, I don't know. Candy and cheese. But she saw it. And when people see it, it's like, thank you. Thank you for believing me. Thank you for noticing. But unless you're in her space, the pathological narcissistic space, you won't see it. She's just a, so the nurse today, she's like, oh, she's just a cute, she's so cute. She's so happy and cute. And me and the aide are looking at each other like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but by the end of the visit, the nurse was like, okay, she's she's uh, a difficult. Yeah, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. No, she didn't say difficult. That was the other nurse. This one today was like, wow, she is uh, unique. Like, unique. 